Alrighty, so after our tutorial break, changing tutorials, um, a window popped up and said no compatible targets are found. You wish to add a new virtual device. This means that we don't have an emulator set up yet. So, we're going to click yes, close out of this, click new, Android virtual device name. I'm going to name my uh, four point whatever. Let's see what we have. 4.2 virtual device. And no spaces. Can't have any dashes or anything. So I'm going to make mine a Nexus 7 and target of Android 4.2. Change the RAM to 512. Because otherwise it crashes when you start when you start it up. Click OK. You have your first Android virtual device. Let's close out of there. Let's uh, click run again, and it should start up the uh, new emulator with virtual device 4.2 PD, or whatever you named it. This takes forever usually, so if you can see here, it will take a really long time to start up, so I'm going to pause. Alright, so it came up, and this is the... Uh, that's just that came up, it just disappeared. Looks like something came up here too. Um, click OK here. Should give a nice little tell you what's going on there. So, let's test this out. Alrighty. So, use our keyboard to input the numbers. I'm going to type in 40. 4. Okay, seems like how we do it. Okay, there we go. Now, um, I'm going to enter 40 again, see what it gives us. Hey, that's the correct answer. So, we have our very first app, and it works. So, this has been um, creating an app for dummies. <laughs> not, not really, I'm not affiliated with that. So, uh, don't sue me. Uh, and well, I'm Blake the Awesome Man, and this is the this is the last tutorial on making your first, very first Android app with no programming skills. See ya.